This is Andy Purawal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm joined by Majestic Junior Thompson over Zoom. Junior, how are you doing? I'm very well, mate. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. It's good to speak to you for the first time. Um, I imagine you're probably itching to get into the ring now. Uh, next week can't come quick enough. Well, uh, sorry, the 24th rather can't come quick enough for yourself. Just over two weeks. Yeah, I can't wait. As you, as you can imagine, for for any fighter that um, that hasn't had the opportunity over the over the pandemic, it's 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 been a nightmare. Just basically training and and you know keeping you you know keeping yourself in in optimal condition and for no for no reason. Almost, that's what it's felt like. So as soon as I got a date, it sort of it gives you another lease of energy. Almost, if that makes sense. I was going to say, you know, it's, it's arguably the best part of what a year and a half, which fighters have probably lost due to the pandemic. And for yourself, who you know, you've got a, a brilliant music career on the side. Has it been difficult to say stay motivated throughout and to continue to pursue a boxing career? That, that's a good question, actually, mate. You know what? It was um, it was tough. Um, the, during the back end of last year because it's sort of it's like when's this ever going to end and then obviously Boris is saying three weeks three weeks three weeks three weeks and it's like where, where is it going to end but it's just one of them things I just um, again I just stayed in the gym um, kept learning and and I'm here now so it's, again it was it was one of them things where it wasn't as it wasn't as um, as bad as, as I thought it was going to turn out as I said before, it's been 18 months, but it, it's gave me time to, you know, take a step back and and um, and perfect some things that I wouldn't have had time to work on. Do you feel at all, though, as if because of the fact you have lost, like we say, like around 18 months due to the pandemic, when you do step into the ring, you come through this first fight on Sky for a victory, you're going to look to push yourself maybe a little bit quicker than what you would have liked just to make up for lost time? Yeah, well, I, I you know, ideally... It's whatever opportunity you get that's the best is the one you're you're gonna take. I just leave I leave a lot of that just down to um me manager, me coaching. Um I, as I say, I'll leave that down to D to to sort out the, the fine details. But for me, it's just to in a, a case of turn up fight, you know, have a little week's break straight back into gym and, and whatever they think's best is where I go. It's it's not really I won't really overthink it myself. I'll again I trust them wholeheartedly. Junior, just for those who will tune in on July 24th uh, up in Manchester on the, the Black yeah. Flash promotion show, just with regards to yourself, what should everybody be in store for? What should everybody expect to see from you? Good question. Um, regarding style, I, I would say I'm more of a, a, a boxer puncher. Um, I like to stay stay at my distance and let my shots fly. Um, I don't really like to smother my way. Although I can mix it up, I, I prefer to you know keep at a distance and um, and just just let me hands go and then move my feet, let me hands go again. Like I said, you know, provided you know, back on July twenty fourth to just over two weeks away, it goes to plan. Have you got an idea as to how you would like maybe at least the remainder of this year to go, if not you know further into next year? To be honest, mate, I'm not looking past this fight. Um, again, I've, I've, a few people, you know, a few mates have asked me, you know, what what's after after this and. It's one of them things. It's it's easy to get into that kind of thing of yet yeah, looking beyond it. But I literally I'm not looking past July the twenty fourth, and then after that, whatever again, whatever D thinks is best, you know, we go again. If we can get two or uh, one or two more out before the end of the 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 end of this year, <sighs> perfect. But again, it's you know it's one of them things where we're just coming out of a pandemic, so you've got to just take the punches as they come. Excuse the pun, sort of thing, but you know. And just and just roll with it almost and just whatever whatever happens, I'll be ready. That's all I know. Junior, obviously, you know, like we said, you've got a, a brilliant music career away from boxing, but from your time entering into the sport, what's your ambition? What do you want to achieve? That's a good question. You know, it's it's mad because I always as as, as everyone knows, I did um, taekwondo and, and kickboxing as a kid, um, before I branched out into the thing. So I've come back, um and again, it's it's been it's been all new to me, all this side of just boxing. In terms of what I'd like to accomplish, I wouldn't put a limit on on any. And you know, I've sparred with you know most of the lads up and down the country at, at, at my level, and again above at the level above me. And just off off being around gyms and stuff, I wouldn't put a I wouldn't put a a limit on anything. Um, as I say, I know you know it's it's easy to say that sitting here, but. 
I, I honestly believe it. I, it's, it's again, I wouldn't put a limit on any any fighter uh, when I'm ready. They don't phase me, to be honest, mate. So at least British level and then beyond for me. I know you have a great personal relationship with Tony Bailey as well, who's been there and done yeah. it all in the boxing world. For yourself, how key is it to have somebody like Tony to turn to, to take advice from, especially at this early stage of your career? Yeah, it's it's massive, you know, me, because again, as you just said there, Bellew's done it all. There's there's no there's no part of boxing I'm gonna come to or any hurdle I'm gonna face and 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 Bomber doesn't hasn't been there himself. So it's it's one of them things. It's having his knowledge and um you know his his wise words, it's priceless, mate. It's it's one of them things that I'm I'm very fortunate to have. And again, he grew up two streets away from me, so it's 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 again I'm really lucky with having him about. Now, Junior, just to touch on as well, I've mentioned a couple of times, obviously you've got a brilliant music career. Talk to me about that and the experiences you've had in music and how you've ended up working your way into boxing. Yeah, do you know what? With the music, it started off as just a party, a party trick sort of thing. Um, and then before I knew it, I was getting invited to do good shows and then, you know, good shows locally turned into, you know, the shows I was doing at the O2 Ritz, you know, supporting artists and stuff. And it was a bit of a mad roller coaster because I'd never I've never had no musical training or not. And again, it was a pure party trick that people were just giving me opportunities. Um in terms of the boxing, it was just one of them things where music's great, but it's it doesn't put no food on the table. That's so it's sort of until until it's you know until there's financial um aspects coming into it, it's not it's not practical. And again I'm not really one of them people that's, I haven't got no, you know, fancy university degree or anything like that. So it's kind of, I was always going to make money physically. And then, you know, that's how I fell back. I came back training in the gym and then one of my mates was like, why don't you come down to boxing gym, met D and the rest is history, really. I know you have supported some very big names in the music industry, people like 50 Cent, um, Tiger, Wu-Tang Clan, uh, amongst others. Just on, on the note there, What's it like working with such huge artists? To be, I, I wouldn't say I worked with them. It's one of them things. It's and I don't really talk about it in, when I'm when I'm amongst boxing. You know, it's it's just one of them things. Part of my life that I've done, and I was fortunate to do it. But again, it's 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 like this is no different to boxing. When you get in and around, you know, top level guys, they just operate different. Do you know what I mean? And when you see people, at, you know, at the top level working on their craft, it's the exact same as boxing. It's you are sort of, it gives you a massive inspiration um, in a different way, obviously, because you get to watch, it, you know, people that you've grew up listening to and stuff like that, performing live, standing right next to you and stuff. But again, it's just life experiences, mate. It's, again, I'm very grateful for it, but it's gone now. I put that behind me and, and focus on boxing. What do you feel or what in the past have you felt more nervous doing, playing in front of a large audience uh, with your music or... Walk into the ring, getting ready for a fight. That that's a good question. Uh, it's got to be boxing, Annie. It? It's got to be boxing. Don't get me wrong. It's when when you're doing the music, and you can you know you step onto the the stage and people are staring at you. Literally, just you just see eyes looking right up at you, and you're waiting for your first line, and you you just pray and the first line comes out and you hit the right notes. And once you do that, and the crowd react, it's it's great. But with with boxing, it's sort of you know, everyone's the same. You've got the butterflies in the back and you're just thinking, just I just want to start well and you know, don't don't make any stupid mistakes and, and things like that. So it's very, very similar, but I'd say I'd probably it's gotta be boxing, hasn't it? Really, definitely, because it's a lot there's someone trying to take your head clean off. Right, Junior, just before I let you go and leave a final word from your, to yourself, uh, just obviously everybody who will continue to support you and will come out in their numbers to see you come July twenty fourth. What would you like to say to them? Just, I just want to say, you know, um, thanks for supporting my journey so far. Um, and for the people that don't don't know me, you can follow me on Instagram um, at Majestic Full Stop Junior. Um, yeah, and just, just you know, follow the journey. And um, I just look forward to seeing everyone on July the 24th come fight night. All right, Junior, it's a pleasure to talk to you for the first time. I'm sure thank it will not be the last. Look after yourself and good luck on the 24th. Thank you for speaking. Thanks, so sure. Thank you. <laughs>